Hi guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I am here with another Project Pan update. This is the update for the Throwback 30 Project Pan. This project was created by Jessica Lee and it is a Fantastic Ladies collab. For this project, Jessica put together um, 30 of the most popular projects and most voted on projects in the Fantastic Ladies group. And we are to pick a prompt from each of the projects and match up products to go with the prompts. I have not worked on all 30, so I'm just gonna update you this month on the things that I've actually used. Um, this is a little bit different of an update for me because I actually have been starting to take pictures of progress and I kind of forgot about that. So I was like, well, where are my weights? Where are my weights? I don't need weights, right? Because I'm either drawing lines or I'm taking pictures. So that's how I'm measuring my progress. So it should be a little bit more fun for me to edit, but a little bit more work as well. Um, this is going up late. I was sick at the end of August. Well, actually, I was kind of sick for the whole month of August. I thought I had COVID. I didn't. It was a sinus infection. I did lose my sense of smell. I'm now on some meds to help with that, but I'm also on prednisone, so my sleep schedule, everything's all whacked out. It's so weird. Um, so a lot of my updates are going to be going up late for the beginning of September and end of, of August projects. So um, bear with me. But I'm going to try to get everything up, you know, ASAP. You might be seeing this look in a couple of videos, so have fun. And if you'd like to see how I did with the first month of this Throwback 30 project, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first product I have to share with you is this e.l.f. quad. This is the e.l.f. electric mood quad. This was a gift to me from Amy um, from Curly Loves Beauty and Books. My goal is to use this 12 times in some capacity to either use like the highlighter, the blushes, or the bronzer in any capacity. So let me swatch this for you. I have used it four out of the 12 times and I really enjoyed using it. It's a very lovely formula. That bronzer, I really swatched it hard, but if you blend it out, it blends out very nicely. I'm not really doing a great job of showing that, but it's not as dark as it looks, but you can build it up as well. So I don't know about people with deeper skin tones um, because I don't have that skin tone, but I'm guessing that it would be okay with people with deeper skin tones just because of the way it swatches on me. So long story short, I really like it. Next up is this e.l.f. gripping primer. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna hold it very close. There's my top line and there's the next line that I have. I, you only use a pump of this at a time and I absolutely love this product to the fact that I couldn't put it down. My goal is to use it 12 times, I've used it seven already. So once I get to 12, I'll probably amend my goal to use it more. Um, I'm really enjoying it, but I'm trying to use some other gripping primers. So maybe I won't amend my goal because then it'll allow me to bring in those other gripping primers to other projects and at least use them. So that is the e.l.f. primer. Next up is the Odin's Eye Warm Sunshine Highlighter. I did not have, I didn't take a picture of this because it really wouldn't make a difference. You can't tell any usage um, has been used on it. Look at how gorgeous that is. It is just gorgeous. My goal is to use it 12 times. I've used it four. Here is a swatch on my finger. And then there it is on my hand. It is so beautiful. It blends out beautifully. I'm really enjoying wearing it. Obviously, I've used it four times already in a month. So um, yeah, I will definitely fix my shirt. Yo, fix my shirt. So I'm definitely looking forward to using it some more. My Grande Lash MD. Oh, I didn't even tell you what these projects were in for. So the Elf Quad is in for the 12 Days of Christmas for Calling Birds, so I picked the quad. The Elf Primer was in for my 50 Shades of Green, and the Odin's Eye Highlighter was in for 50 Shades of Purple. For, let's see, 
Alice in Wonder Pan, I picked the prompt Blue Caterpillar, a minimizing or growing product. So I chose this Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. I don't use it on my lashes. I use it on my brows. My goal is to finish it and I haven't done that yet, but I feel like it's getting a little bit light. So I'm thinking I have a couple more months on this, but it's not out yet. For Beauty A to Z, I randomly rolled and I got the letter R. So I put in this MAC single in right before your eyes. This is so gorgeous. I wasn't sure about it at first. Um, I thought it was going to be like too glittery, but it really is just a gorgeous topper. It goes like purple to green to silver. Let me give you a swatch. And it's just a gorgeous topper. I've used it two out of the 12 times and I'm not mad at it and I definitely will keep it around. I keep it in my everyday vanity so that I um, use it more often and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm very glad I bought it. It was definitely a good purchase for me and I'm not mad that it's sticking around. Um, then I have for birthstone beauty, my birthstone is an emerald. So I chose to put in this Elemis mask. It's in green packaging and emeralds green. And I was able to make a little bit of progress on this. So my goal is to finish this. This will be in for the long run. Um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So, yay. Um, let's see. The next product I used is for child of the eighties. I chose the prompt. Where's the beef? And that is a brown or neutral colored product. So I pulled in my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. My goal is to use it 12 times. I've used it three times and you can't even tell. I don't even think there's brush strokes in there. So I have to use it nine more times. It's a very lovely bronzer, um, but I just, I'm rotating through so many bronzers that I don't know, I don't even know how long it's gonna to take to see progress in that because I wasn't even able to make another mark. For the next product or project, Food for Thought, I picked the, pro well, the, you were supposed to pick a food theme project, or product, I can't talk. So I rolled in this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Raspberry. I love these, they are gorgeous. Such a pretty lip product. Um, I'm building it up on my hand right now, but you can wear this sheer. You can wear this built up a little bit. It does not um, get like crunchy or gross or anything. It's a beautiful lip product. And um, Jaylon and Valerie completely talked me into it and they were completely right. Gorgeous. And I really, really like it. So I've used it three out of the 12 times already. For the project Got a Panama, I chose the prompt Ash, something you're determined to finish. So I pulled in my CoverGirl Weightless Water Cream Moisturizer. My goal is to finish it, and this is where I'm sitting at right now. So I'm doing really well. I'll put up a picture of where I started. Um, this should be out by next month. I'm enjoying using it, and it truly is what it says. It is a weightless water cream. I use it in the mornings. Sometimes I'll use it at night. Um, it wouldn't be... It's something that if I use at night, I also have to use a sleeping mask with. It's not as moisturizing as I like, but it's been perfect for the summer. I don't think it would work for me in the winter, which is why I'm getting it out now. Um, because I need a little bit more moisture in the winter. But I'm really enjoying using it now, but I'm hoping it'll be gone by next month. For Harry Potter and the Pan of Fire, I chose the um, prompt Golden Snitch. And that was to choose a gold product. So I picked this PS Lip Gloss for the gold cap. My goal is to get to the bottom of the G. And right now I am not even at the S yet. <laughs> so I was able to make another mark. This is a really opaque gloss. I mean, it is opaque. Like, look at that, that dark dark color like holy cow but it's absolutely beautiful and I think that it'll be really nice to use in the fall and in the winter um so I'm excited to get some more use out of it I think I hit I put kind of a lofty goal there but I'm excited to keep using it um the next product I worked on was for let's get loose we had to choose a loose product so I pulled in my Ilia powder my goal is to use it 12 times and I've only used it once. I'm not able to like 
make another line or anything going across. And that's okay. I really like the powder. I, I used it under my eyes. It's very finely uh, milled. I used it on my face as well with a, with a brush. I want to get some um, velour sponges to use as well or use my um, Blendiful to put it on and really press it in. Deb and Danny suggested that in one of the videos they put up. So I'm really um, going to try that to see if it helps make my makeup last longer that way and cut down some of the shine. So we'll see. Then for lip service, I chose to put in my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in another round. And my goal is to get down to this L in pencil. And I'll put up a picture. I did make some usage and that's where I'm at. I'm wearing it today. I really am enjoying it. Um, I was able to get, like I said, some usage out of it, so I'm happy about that, and it's going to stay in for a while, and I'm not mad at that. I, I use it quite often, um, and I really like it. Let's see, what's up next? Next is the Pan of Dinosaurs. I chose the Ankylosaurus, which is something that protects, so I chose to bring in this Clinique Super Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 25. I had been working on another um, SPF, and so now I'm going to start working on this. I did use this a few times. It is a thicker moisturizer too. It's very nice. I'll put in a picture of where it was when I started, which I think it was like right at the, I don't think I had any movement on it. So now that school's starting, I'll wear sunscreen, more of an everyday thing because I'll be leaving my house every day. And um, I will get some more usage out of that as well. So that is in to finish. Um, for Prompt 24, that's Expensive Project Pan, I brought in my Natasha Denona Gold Palette, and I'm pleased to say my goal was to use it No Pan Left Behind, and I did. Um, I worked with Jen with this palette from um, Project Beauty, and we did a look together. It was gorgeous. She really helped me out. This lime chrome color, it like shifts from green to pink to yellow. Let me swatch that for you. Look at that. It is so gorgeous. This was definitely a palette that I had been eyeing forever. And when it came back, look at that gold to pink to, oh my gosh, it's just gorgeousness. When it came back and it was on sale and she brought, I was like, I have to, I have to get it. And I have no regrets and I'm super excited. So this is rolling out of this project, but not out of my life because I will continue to be using it. For the project That's So 2000s, I chose the Prompt Milkshake, a product that you have to shake up. And for that, I chose my MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Radiant Sheer Foundation. I have used it two out of the 12 times. It's a very lovely formula. I was able to make a little bit of a new mark, but because it's been summer, I really haven't had to wear a lot of foundation to get some good coverage and um, glow or color on my skin. So I've really only been using like a dot of foundation. So there's no wonder that I really haven't made um, enough, enough of a big mark on here. So this is staying in to use 10 more times and I'm not mad about that. For the Golden Girls Project Pan out on the lanai, I chose this Super Goop Glow Screen, and this is really pretty. It is an illuminating SPF. Let me see if I can give you a swatch of this. It's right there, and it's really pretty. I'm thinking about trying to wear it like to school. There's really no coverage, but it does give a nice glow. I don't know if it's picking up. Um, so I'm excited to use this. My goal is to finish it and you can see I was able to make another a line on it. So I used it a few times. Um, so yeah, I'm happy it's staying in. It, maybe I'll end up using that as my sunscreen because I really do love a glowy look. You guys know that. And then, um, for turn and burn, I decided that all my foil packets were going to be brought into this project. So I've used a few. I'm not going to dig them out every time because I'll cover those in my empties, but I still have the Kiehl's Eye Zone treatment left. I have an Alpine Beauty um, moisturizer, the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream, and then this Sushado Sunscreen. So I still have these four items to use, so they will be in. And then the last but not least product I've been using is my is for the Zodiac Project pan. I chose the um, sign Aquarius and the color that was assigned to that are electric blue or turquoise. So I pulled in my LA Girl liner in tropical. This is a vibrant blue, green, blue, green. 
The goal was to use it 12 times. I was not able to make another mark on my card, so I'm not even gonna show you a picture, but I used it once. There you go. <laughs> so not a ton of usage, but I'm really pleased with my um, progress so far on this project. I've been able to try out a bunch of the products, so I'm sure I'll get to more of them as the year goes on. Maybe next month I'll work on some other things. I really want to work on my Tarte Parte blush because, you know, but I'm working on so many blushes. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.